You search the scriptures because you think that in them you have eternal life. In the scriptures. It is these, however, that testify about me. The Jewish people thought that by studying scripture, they would have eternal life. According to the rabbinical teaching in the Mishnah, which is recorded 200 AD and records earlier oral tradition that stems from before the time even of the Lord. If one acquires a good name, he's acquired something for himself. If one acquires for himself knowledge of Torah, he's acquired life in the world to come. How can you know you've been saved? How much time are you spending in Torah, according to the rabbis? Right? So these guys, they're searching the scripture all the time. They're, they're students of the scripture, and they are convinced that it is in the scriptures and their study of the scriptures and the knowledge and the retention of the scriptures that they have life, a share in the world to come. That's Mishnah Perkei Avot. Indeed, in the same passage, the same uh, um, uh, tractate, Perkei Avot, 6-7, great is Torah, for it gives life to those who practice it. So if you know it and you do it, there's life in this world, life. How, how will you know that you have life? Because I do Torah. That's rabbinical teaching. And how do you know you have eternal life? Because I know and I do Torah in the world to come. Greatest Torah gives life to those who practice it in this world and in the world to come. So you search the scriptures because you think in them you have life. And you are unwilling. It's not knowledge. It's volition. You are unwilling to come to me. To me, the word, the memra, remember? So that you may have life. 